Friday, September 5th, let's talk PlayStation. So if you did not notice already earlier this week, Sony had their pre-TGS 2014 conference. Pre-TGS, so this was actually a pre-show to TGS. A lot of people seem to mis misinterpret that. Sony's gonna have more at TGS when it actually starts on the 18th, but they did have a pre-conference early, earlier this week, and it was really long. It was like two hours long. I would have done a video after it, but I was a little bit busy. So I was like, okay, we'll just do it on. Let's talk PlayStation. So let's actually go over it. Um, last year, they actually, this is where they announced uh, PS Vita TV and the redesigned PS Vita, I believe. So it's weird because it's a pre-show. You know, they still have more to show, but last year they announced so much at pre-TGS, and they also did the same this year, too. They had a lot of stuff to show off. So, um... Right off the bat, and I'll probably show you a video of the conference right now, um, but these are just some of the interesting stories out of the conference. A lot of it was filler stuff. Sony uh, did a lot of sizzle reel stuff for PS Vita, PS3, just showing games that we already know about, uh, but they did announce a few things, like Bloodborne getting a release date for February 5th in Japan. That's, of course, just Japan. Keep in mind, a lot of this stuff, very Japanese-oriented. It's pre-TGS for a reason, pre-Tokyo Game Show. They announced a UMD Passport in Japan for 250 new games, so if you remember P UMD Passport, that's where you can take your UMD physical games from the PSP, and there was a transfer program to get the digital versions on PSP. Uh, but there was only a few select titles for that uh, back when Vita uh, launched, and it looks like they're adding 250 new games for that, but uh, quite frankly, that's probably not going to leave Japan. It's probably still going to be only for Japan, because as we all know, the US or Europe, any other territories did not get UMD Passport. Resident, I, I also, keep in mind, I don't think this is in order, by the way, I'm kind of frazzled on all this news. Uh, Resident Evil Remastered was announced for PS4 and PS3, so Resident Evil, the original one on PlayStation, is getting remastered for PS4 and PS3. It's also coming out on 360, X1, and uh, Steam, I believe, so. Resident Evil Revelations 2 was also announced for PS4 and PS3, also, com also coming to other platforms, that's for 2015. A uh, new Everybody's Golf was announced for PlayStation 4, now if you don't know, Everybody's Golf is actually the Eastern name for Hot Shots Golf, so Hot Shots Golf is uh, getting a release on PlayStation 4, um, presumably that will come over at some point, because those games do traditionally come over at some point. Um, Hideo Kojima took the stage to talk about PT, the playable teaser that was announced at Gamescom. Of course, PT is the playable teaser for Silent Hills, and he announced that that that, uh, that particular demo playable teaser was downloaded over 1 million times and uh, again kind of reiterating that he wants to pretty much scare the shit out of you when this game comes out Silent Hills. Um, but that's really cool. Me and my friend actually decided to try and play that and I was a little baby about it. Um, here's some big stuff. Vita firmware 3.30 uh, was announced to include themes, so custom themes for the PlayStation Vita, which cool, but I mean, you can already kind of change the background pictures and assuming that these themes aren't dynamic, um, I don't know how necessarily cool that's going to be because we can already change pictures to begin with, but hopefully they're dy dynamic themes. Otherwise, the only benefit to these themes is that the, uh, you know, font colors change and certain um, stock apps uh, sort of change, but I'm going to assume it's not a major difference. Probably the big one, PS4 firmware 2.0, which we already know is going to get YouTube uploading support, um, that share play feature. Uh, 2.0 is also going to include themes for PS4 as well. So the PlayStation 4 is going to get custom themes. We all know we're stuck with a, a flat blue design of some wavy stuff in the background, but we are going to get custom themes for PS4. Uh, assuming Sony will sell these in the store. Don't know if they'll, you know, release a dev kit for people to make custom themes like they could on PS3, but that was announced. Deskaya 5 is coming for PlayStation 4 in 2015. Now, we knew Deskaya 5 was in development, but now we know that, it, that it's actually for PS4, not PS3 or Vita. But the game could possibly come to PS3 and Vita. Um, we don't know just yet. Dragon Quest Heroes was announced for PlayStation 4, and an exclusive Metal Slime PlayStation 4 bundle was also announced. So, a silver slime PS4, only j for Japan. I There's no chance this thing is going to get released outside of Japan. Uh, Japan always gets a lot of exclusive PlayStation hardware bundles, so that's to be expected. And I believe they, they ended the show off with Persona 5 also coming to PlayStation 4. So, per Persona 5 was announced for just PlayStation 3. At this show, they announced the game is also going to come to PlayStation 4. So, that's pretty awesome. And those are just some of the bigger, most notable news stories coming out of pre-TGS that I wanted to inform you all about. So uh, all around, it was actually a pretty decent show. Again, the first like half of it was pretty rough. It was just hour, like an hour of stuff we already knew about. 
but you know it's it's good that they had a good showing they want to get more eastern themed games on the playstation 4 because ps4 is not doing that well in japan uh playstation 3 is actually outselling it some weeks which is uh, a little crazy and vita is doing uh much more units uh per week than the ps4 ps4 sells around 5,000, 8,000 units a week in japan whereas vita is selling close to like 30,000 units a week in japan so vita is actually doing a lot better than ps4 um but that's, you know, Sony's job is to get games on PS4, so they got to release more Japanese-oriented games on PS4. Um, I think one other news story I actually missed out of that was um, Sony uh, announced a Project Morpheus game where it, it's not really, I guess it is a, a game, but, you know, where you're wearing Morpheus and there's a Japanese schoolgirl and things get kind of frisky, you know? I mean, that's, again, it's, it's pre-TGS. It's a Japanese-oriented show. You can't expect, can't expect much, but you're going to obviously expect a lot of, Japanese oriented things oh and a pink PlayStation Vita was also announced for Japan but again just Japan Japan always gets that stuff in fact when the slim Vita was announced in Japan last year Japan got five colors for that thing and when it came west side we only got one color which was black so that's about it for sony's pre-tgs show so keep in mind september 18th that's actual tokyo game show and sony probably has a lot more to show and we will of course go over it on this show let's talk playstation anyway let's go into our normal news stories that happened throughout the week that wasn't related to pre-tgs um minecraft ps4 is finally available um so Go out and buy it. It's $5 if you already have the PlayStation 3 version of the game. And if you already have the PS3 version, you will get the Vita version for free. But to upgrade to PS4, it's 5 bucks. Been online, seeing a lot of people not understanding how that works. PS3 and, PS, uh, PS3 and Vita cross-buy. To go to PS4, it's 5 bucks, Or you can buy the PS4 version alone for 20 bucks. Um, and the Vita version is still being worked on. Mojang saying a couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. So let's talk Xperia for a second, shall we? Because it's actually gaming related. So Sony announced two new smartphones and one new tablet, the Xperia Z3 uh, in two different screen sizes. And then they announced the Xperia Z3 tablet. And this is pertinent to PlayStation because these two are the only smartphones and tablets available right now that will allow PlayStation 4 remote play. So you can, when you get, if you have these phones or tablet, you can connect these phones to a DualShock 4, connect them to your PlayStation 4 wirelessly, and you can do some full-on remote play with your PlayStation 4, much like with the Vita. So this week, trophies were leaked for Beyond Two Souls on PlayStation 4, so we now know that there is a trophy list that exists for a PS4 version of Beyond Two Souls, which pretty much confirms that Beyond Two Souls is going to come to PlayStation 4. Now, there's been a bunch of rumors prior to this leading up to Beyond Two Souls possibly being on PS4. This pretty much seals the deal. Um, you know, when there's trophies on PSN that you can physically check and see and understand, uh, that means the game exists so um beyond two souls coming to ps4 we don't know exactly when but apparently it's a director's cut so it's probably going to feature some extra content um maybe developer commentary or something that'd be cool but um so we'll talk about that when we actually get a legit confirmation lastly sony announced a new vita and mobile game uh run sack boy run so coming to vita and mobile um it's just like a you know one of those smaller scale downloadable titles that's kind of a spin-off of little big planet and basically what it is is uh it's three survival challenges so if you've played the little big planet games before you know there's a lot of side missions in little big planet where there's survival games where you just um try and last as long as you can depending on like what the actual level is whether you're running away from something or just trying to hold on to something for a certain period of time period of time Either way, you get the idea. So uh, three of those games in like one little package is coming to Vita and mobile. And if you unlock stuff in the specific game, you're going to get uh, exclusive content unlocked uh, ahead of time for Little Big Planet 3. So, you know, little, little sm small stuff like that's always pretty cool. I always uh, like to mess around with apps like that. Anyway, those are just some of the news stories I want to talk about with you guys this week. I hope I included everything from pre-TGS and I hope I don't miss any specific news stories coming up in the next few hours because I'm recording this a bit earlier than usual uh, and I'm going to edit this a little bit ahead of time. I usually don't do it this far ahead of time because I like to wait longer to see if any news stories break so I can cover them and then deliver them to you. So I apologize if I miss anything. Um, there was no Ryan on Gaming this week because I uploaded a review. My phone just went off. I uploaded a review for um, Infamous First Light. So if you have not seen that, please go ahead and watch it. And because Minecraft PS4 came out, I'll do a quick, super small review regarding the PS4 version, if it, you know, runs and if it's good and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But Ryan on Gaming should return this coming week. Anyway, 
that is about it for this episode. Um, I'll see you all next week. Uh, I'm Ryan Panecki. Take care. I really, oh man, I did not do that ending right. Here, let, let me let me do it again. That concludes this week's episode of Let's Talk PlayStation. I'm Ryan Panecki. Thank you so much for talking with me, and I'll see you all next Friday. There we go.